Hey everybody, I am sitting up here on my roof, just getting ready to put my lights on my house. Yes, it is getting cold and the holidays are coming and I know we're getting ready to have a storm. So I decided before it gets stormy, <clears throat> I'd put my lights out so I could get on my roof and be safe. You know, it takes a lot of energy to be me. I'm 57 years old. And a few years ago, I wondered, you know, where did my energy go? I, I thought, okay, maybe there is something to this, oh, getting older and, and going through menopause and all the things that crazy things that women go through. <clears throat> I didn't realize how much it would affect my energy. You know, at the time, I had just become a grandma and I was literally living on diet drinks and candy, sugar. Yes, I know some of you guys, most of you ladies are chocolate fans. I'm not much of a chocolate fan. <clears throat> I love sugar, straight sugar. In fact, good on plenties, you know, circus pe peanuts, peeps. Oh my gosh, they're my favorite. Actually, my very favorite is cotton candy. That's like, that's like the candy of the gods. You know, it's like straight sugar goes right into your veins. <clears throat> and I lived on that, you know. They always say you have that sugar high. Well. I don't feel like I was there off the sugar high because I always had candy and I drank diet drinks and you know I say well it's because they taste better but what I was finding is because my energy was so low I was looking for something to give me that energy to give me something to get me going I, I don't know if any of you guys relate some of you might be it might be coffee it might be monster drinks but that's what I was using and I thought, this is not what I want. I, I want to be able to enjoy life, to be able to enjoy being a grandma, to enjoy the things that I enjoyed, skiing and dancing and exercise and all those things that I felt like, why is this so hard? Until I came up and, and I learned some things that made a difference. And what I learned is that I needed to feed my brain. Um, in your brain you've got what's called these crazy neurotransmitters and, and it, they don't just control your your energy they also control whether you're feeling overwhelming sadness whether you're feeling worry stress cravings can't sleep at night yeah they're really cool and that's what their job is and once I realized that there really was something to it that my that I needed some of these chemicals they weren't firing right? Why was my brain not firing right? Well, I learned about these really cool amino acids and, and this program I put together. And by doing that, what I've come up with is a program that gives you energy. And you're not expected to take anything that's like caffeine or, or something that's going to um, artificially, you know, raise your, your energy. It literally is natural. There's there's nothing in it that can hurt it, hurt you. Your body knows what to do with it because it, it produces it. Sometimes it just doesn't produce enough of it. But by taking it, it's going to raise your energy and sustain your energy. It's called sustained energy, which is really cool. So it's not like you spike and crash. You just feel like, oh my gosh, I'm awake. And at 57 years old, it's pretty amazing because like I said, it takes a lot of energy to be me. I, I like to be active. I now have the energy to hang out with my four-year-old and three-year-old grandbabies. I just got another one. He's only two months old, but he's still a baby. So I can jump on the tramp. I can play Barbies. I can go to the park. I can ski. Um, I can exercise. I can run. I can get on my roof and put the, you know, the Christmas lights up. Um, and I'm gonna. <clears throat> I can even roller skate. I don't know if you can see this because. It's kind of hard, but I got to show you what this is. This is my arm. Can you see that cat, that scar? Yeah. That scar is because I broke my arm roller skating. I know. Every time I said that, people laugh at me. What 57 year old roller skates, right? I mean, that's what they said at the hospital when I got there. Um, I, who knew that roller skating on cement or on the sidewalk in, into the road is not the same as roller skating at a roller skating rink. All right, I wasn't thinking clearly. I thought it'd be cool to go to up onto a path and roller skate, which it was, but I didn't realize that coming home from the path, 
yeah, I had to go from the sidewalk into the road and when I hit the road, I fell backwards and I broke my arm. Literally, it, it, it was crazy. Had to have surgery, um, had to have a cast for like, for literally eight weeks. I know, it's funny, every time somebody asks me, how'd you break your arm? I say, oh, I did roller skating. <laughs> they laugh. But the thing is, is I have the energy to do it. And I wanna share that energy with you. So if you're tired of being tired, if you're tired of having to grab caffeine or sugar to give you that boost to enjoy life, then you're only gonna listen to what I have to say and you're gonna click on the button and learn about my program. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. It's inexpensive, it's not a lot, of it, and, and it works. If, you're, if your brain needs it, you may feel a difference in 20 minutes or less. So for me, what that means is I can live my life. Um, I haven't had a, a diet drink, well, I shouldn't say diet drink, but a certain diet cola for two years now, because once I started uh, this program, I didn't crave it anymore. And you know, I would still have it every once in a while, a couple little sips just to, mm, just because, you know, I, I would say, you know, it tastes better with popcorn or pizza, but I didn't crave it until it got to the point that it was like, my daughter's like, mom, you don't need it. Don't drink it. So I didn't. Now sugar, I love sugar. I'll always love sugar. My family loves sugar. I think there's like a sugar gene in my family. But the difference is I don't crave it. I can like it. I can even love it. And I can have, you know, a couple pieces of candy rather than my brain saying, oh my gosh, I need something and I need it now. That hangry feeling where you're like, ravaging through your your pantry to get whatever you want, whatever you can, you know, like sugar cubes, I don't know, whatever. I don't do that anymore. Yes, I do like candy and a couple pieces here and there just makes me so I can enjoy it. But the craving's not there. It's amazing, guys. So let me teach you what I know. I'm Shelly Jo with Shelly Jo Hypno Aminos, also known as the amino acid lady and the hypnotherapist. Let me teach you what I know about my program that can feed your brain what it needs rather than turning to sugar or starches or caffeine. In the meantime, I'm going to get going because it's getting cloudy. Wind's coming up. We're supposed to get snow today. So I got to get my lights on. So keep smiling. Check it out. Hypnoaminos.com. Love you. Bye.